Just one of many protests around the nation to try and say and sway the nation's 538 electors to vote their conscience. Michelle Macaluso has a story for the White House. Electoral college voters convened in state capitals across the country and officially voted Donald Trump in as the next president of the United States. All 11 votes have been cast for Donald J. Trump. But protesters did their best to get the electors to vote for somebody else. Not my president. It's a last ditch effort to stop Mr. Trump from becoming president. The point of this is just to make a show and be legitimized with Trump. President Bill Clinton was the first elector in New York to cast his vote for his wife, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Mr. Trump won 306 electoral votes and only needs 270 to clinch the presidency. The anti-Trump movement did not get the 37 defectors needed to block the president-elect from winning the White House. Texas Republican elector Chris Suprin voted for Ohio Governor John Kasich. I think this is the first time in America's history where we have someone who is clearly unfit uh, for office. Critics of the Electoral College argue that the system is outdated and broken and point out that Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton won nearly three million more votes than Mr. Trump. It's a big accomplishment just to generate this conversation about the Electoral College. A joint session of Congress will officially certify Mr. Trump as the 45th president of the United States on January 6. Michelle Macaluso for CBS News, the White House. Mr. Trump will be sworn into office on January 20th. Well,